Hi, I'm Mark Savage. I'm a photographer with Corvus. My Nikon, um, I use this most of the time. It's a D200 um, with an 18 to 200 lens and a, uh, and a basic flash. Uh, with Corvus, I do a lot of entertainment, shoot a lot of premieres, um, award shows, uh, fashion. And uh, I find this camera just uh, really holds up. It's very consistent. I really don't think about my equipment all that much. I have a basic system down. Um, you know, for event photography, this is pretty much it. Um, I've got a lens that will take care of me from wide angle to telephoto and um, um, it has a pretty good megapixel size and uh, a really dependable flash. And beyond that, what I like to do is focus in on, on who I'm photographing. I like, you know, whatever, what is in front of me. Um, uh, that's what I'm obsessed about rather than the tools. Uh, a focus assist under uh, you know, like real low lighting situations. Um, you're able to tweak it in such a way that it will throw off an additional light and allow the camera to focus. I've got the, uh, obviously, the double A's and the additional, the fifth, fifth battery right here. And then um, I use this uh, Lumidine as well. It does the job. It does the job. Um, I've worked with other batteries in the past and it just, it didn't, they didn't hold up as well as the Lumidine. Um, I'll be at a premiere and shooting just dozens of frames left and right and rarely do I get a blank. It's, uh, it's fantastic. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I rarely bring a camera bag with me. Um, uh, you know, what you see here is what I take and uh, it's just simple to put it over my shoulder, attach this to my belt, and I'm ready to go. Uh, the less equipment I have to worry about, um, I think the better off I am. Everyone has their own style and their approach. What I like about this is it's so versatile. I can get the wide and I get the telly. And sometimes things happen in front of me so quickly that uh, I don't have time to actually put down a camera and pick up another one. Um, with this lens, I'm able to just go from one scene to another uh, in a split second. And uh, again, I'm concentrating on what's in front of me rather than what I'm holding. I mostly shoot this for like personal projects. Uh, example, I've been photographing the poets of LA for, I don't know, well over 10 years now. And um, I shoot 95% of all the portraits with this. Um, and you know, the results are just fantastic. So it's a Dynalite 1000 watt pack. Um, I've got your basic pocket wizard, um, Dynalite heads. Uh, I w will usually work anywhere, on, on average, three to four heads, depending upon the assignment. Um, and as far as uh, you know, the lighting, uh, you know, various grid spots from 10 to 40 degrees, um, a few umbrellas to uh, you know, give myself some ambient light and um, uh, this one uh, softbox here. This is, uh, oh, who makes this? <laughs> I can't remember. Light dome. Photoflex, that's right, I have Photoflex. It's been a while. I've had this for so many years, I can't even remember which one it is. Every now and then I'll use, I'll work off a ring light, but um, I would say that this little arsenal here pretty much gets the job done. I'm more or less thinking, oh, this equipment will allow me to get the image that I want. I have an image in my mind. I visualize, okay, now, how can I create that? I'm not necessarily working in a studio unless I'm doing maybe uh, a, some print advertising where it's necessary. Uh, but quite often, I'm, I'm traveling about. I'm going from one place to another. And I'm working with people's environment. Um, and I have to be able to adapt to that. Uh, I do a lot of work here in LA and Orange County, and uh, I don't have a studio. If I need a studio, I'll rent, but most of the time I'll be traveling uh, to different places, you know, all around Southern California. Um, and over the years, I've pretty much, I've modified it in different ways, and the system that I have down now is, uh, it's very comfortable. Um, I can pretty much put everything together on these wheels here and, um, and take it with me, and, like I said, I try to keep things simple. 
You can see here uh, the basic ingredients of a, of a travel pack, for anywhere from sunscreen to, uh, to uh, some uh, black tape, um, a light meter, and some extra batteries. Um, and then coming over here, let's see, what else do we have? We've got, uh, well, we've got another grid down here. Um, a few more uh, Dynalites, shades, you know, upload images. And then some, some cables, basically. Um, one of the things I can't live without, and I find it comes in handy all the time, never think you're going to need maybe a 50-foot extension cord, but um, I'm always surprised every now and then I'll show up and, uh, you know, definitely I'll have to run a cord across the hall or, or down the hall quite a ways because uh, wherever I'm shooting just doesn't have an outlet. But um, it all works out really well. There's so much that you can basically do with with the lighting setup that I have, uh, with the umbrellas and the softbox and the grids. Um, you can get so many different kinds of looks from, you know, the type of photo where you're looking at, you don't really see the light, you don't, uh, it, it's, it's so soft, it's, uh, um, you're, you're not even aware of it to, um, to, to shots which are just glistening with light. You can go from one extreme to another. I've been shooting since I was about 10. Um, I was obsessed with it at a very young age. And even though in my 20s I did a lot of different things, I always continued to shoot. Um, I started shooting professionally when I was about 21. I'm 45 now. I think it's important that you take a lot of risks. I think it's important that you make a lot of mistakes make it as much of an adventure as you possibly can make it. Go in the direction in which you, you love. If you have a passion about one thing or particular, go in that direction. Put yourself in a situation where you meet a variety of people uh, who are interested in doing what you're doing. I found that even though I only took a couple classes in college, the photographers that I worked with at the time, most of them actually over 20 years later are my still very good friends. And I learned an enormous amount from them. So you can learn a lot from your fellow students. I worked for a couple studios when I was in my early mid-20s. And I did a lot of grunt work. Um, and at the time, I hated it, but I knew it was kind of necessary. And I also enjoyed it as well. But um, at the time, it didn't make sense. But I look back on it years later, and it makes an enormous amount of sense. And I still use things that I learned way back then today. I remember just being so inspired by Philippe Hausman and his, uh, his work that he did at Life Magazine during the 40s and the 50s and, and the 60s as well. Um, and his range and his ability to adapt to uh, his, the settings, the various settings, any environment that he worked in. And, how he was able to uh, adapt to the, to the person that he was photographing. Now, I found that work really inspirational. It was just absolutely just st stunning work. And um, uh, it, I just knew then and there that's, that's what I wanted to do. And all these years later, I'm still doing it. I'm still obsessed with it. One of my great fears is that I'm going to have to retire. I'm going to have to stop shooting someday. And uh, that just... I don't know, maybe my mindset will change. But that is just so incomprehensible to me that someday I won't be shooting. That the obsession that I have for the work that I do now and have been doing all these years will, will change in any way. I'm as excited now about what I do and the variety of assignments that I, I take on for many given week uh, as I was when I was first starting out uh, 25 years ago.